What's up, YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for all the new subscribers. Thank you so much because I'm slowly reaching my goal. Um, being consistent in posting this year has been really paying off. Um, so thank you for that. Um, welcome to all of you new subscribers and welcome back to the old subscribers. If you are, if this is your first time watching me or looking at my channel, my name is Nicole. I, yeah, y'all can see my cute nails, but it's, I'm getting it, I'm getting them done. Um, don't judge me. I don't judge you. That's how my channel rolls. Um, we're here to learn together. I learn from different YouTubers and I feel like people are learning from me. Um, my channel is really all about home DIY projects, home organization, just ways to stay sane um, when you're trying to live a productive life. And I feel like it starts at home. So having your space to be inspiring and comfortable and all of those things. So I'm taking you guys through all of my little DIY projects and my little hacks and tips to kind of keep my place feeling inspiring. So check out my previous videos if you haven't already. I have some great content. I've been getting some great engagement. And that's what I'm doing this YouTube stuff for because I just want to engage. I want to learn stuff from other people. I want people to learn from me and just feel inspired. Like we're women. We can... We can do handy work around the house, and we don't really need a man to, like, do it for us. My fellas are welcome, of course. I love you guys, too. But my channel is really for the ladies. Um, in this week's video, you guys, I'm going to show you. I've been doing this DIY home bar. So I had this awkward half wall in my kitchen um, that just wasn't really serving a purpose. So I got some supplies. Um, I'll link everything, or I'll, I'll list out the supplies in the description but pretty much I it was a simple easy no drill no screws way of turning a half wall into a home bar so I made it cute I got a couple stools I know you guys may have seen my video from last week um, my review for the stools that I purchased from Amazon so check that out if you um, want to see that or if you're debating on getting furniture of any type from Amazon I pretty much would, you know, give you an honest review on my experience, at least with these stools. Um, but we're going to hop into the video. I'm going to show you guys me working on finishing it. You're going to see my hairstyle change a couple of times because I did it over the course of like two and a half days. And all you see my hair in this intro is even different, um, like a third style, I think. I'm going to jump into the video. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you watch to the end for some inspiration on, you know, turning an awkward space or a blank space in your house into something new, something functional, um, because this half wall wasn't really serving a purpose. It's kind of blocking off the kitchen from the front door. Um, but now it's a bar we can sit at and be comfortable. And it's cute. It's inspiring. I feel like I'm in a coffee shop or at a bar every morning when I'm eating my breakfast. Or, you know, that's my little work from home space right now because I haven't been using the office like that. So, enough with this long intro. I'm sorry I had to explain everything. Let's jump into the video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Okay, so first I'm going to cover. This is the wood that I use. So, I got this piece of wood this size from Home Depot. And I used Gorilla Glue. You can see a little bit of the Gorilla Glue if you look closely. But I used Gorilla Glue to glue it down. Um... And it's pretty sturdy. It's actually very sturdy. Um, just took a few days for the glue to actually dry so that it could um, stay. You may have seen in a couple of videos ago, I had this already covered in contact paper, but I didn't do that great of a job. So I decided to remove that and do it again. So I bought some more contact paper. I'm using this wooden spoon. Like you can use any like straight edge or flat um, sturdy thing to kind of like smooth the contact paper down. Um, previously I used a credit card, but I feel like I, I used an active credit card. So it was kind of like damaging it. So I just decided to use this spoon. So you really just need the contact paper, something to, um, something flat with a sharp edge and then some scissors. That's all you need. If you're, um, not used to using contact paper, it's very easy to work with, like very forgiving and, and things like that. But, um, yeah, I was just like, let me do this a little bit more neater. I feel like the first time I kind of rushed. So there was like some imperfections. I feel like it's never super duper 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 perfect. But I think I did a much better job this time. So I just wanted to, since I'm focusing on this area, I really wanted to just start from scratch. Um, 
Y'all, I told y'all I'm going to have some hairstyle changes throughout this video. So this is me with my little, I just had like some two strand twists in my hair. And my sister said I look like silly, but why? I don't know. But yeah, when you're doing your housework, it's okay if you're not looking super glamorous because like, what are you, what are you trying to look glamorous for? But so yeah, I just kind of laid out the um, contact paper. Thankfully, this roll is long enough to, the, the height is long enough to go across the bar. So I didn't have to cut that side. I just had to cut um, the end to show like, I mean, to, to the, how much I needed pretty much. You can see, you, you can see from the video <laughs> what I'm talking about. So I'm measuring it out a little bit. Um, the, the tip I would want, I would say is if you're doing something that has corners with contact paper, make sure like at the um, corners, you'll see when I do it, but you want to slit, um, slit the corners, the edges of the contact paper, um, where the corners fold over. So that way you have like a clean cut corner. So it took me a while to really try, try to position it because I was trying to take my utmost time this time. I wanted it to be as neat and as, um, you know, as perfect as possible. So this part took a while. I definitely sped it up a bit, but yeah, I think I sped it up as much as possible. So I'm trying to really line it with the edges, making sure that when I stick down the first piece that's stuck, that it's actually stuck in the right place. So when I fold over each edge, there's enough contact paper and it's even to, um, you know, fully cover the wood. So super easy, y'all. Like if you have something that's a base and you just gorilla glue a piece of wood on top and cover in contact paper, that's an easy tabletop. So you see, I just cut the edge, the corner. So right where it's going to fold over where the corner of the wood is, I cut the contact paper there. So I could fold one side over and then fold the other side over. Kind of like if you're wrapping a gift, if you are any good at wrapping Christmas gifts or birthday gifts. So I wanted to kind of give this, have this video be a little bit detailed on how to apply contact paper because of the simple fact that when I did it the first time, it, um, it wasn't so great. It was okay, but it, it could have been better. And so I wanted to give it another go to try to um, you know, make it better. So then I just kind of cut off this access. I could have just folded it over, but I want, I didn't want it to be too much access, especially if I, um, want to use this extra contact paper for something else. I'm just thinking about the, you know, making it, making it the most resourceful as possible. So now that I got my contact paper kind of positioned, kind of cut to, you know, where I, you know, the amount that I need, then I start to slowly peel off you you want to peel off a little bit at a time. So I peel off like a, you know, a, um, maybe like an inch or two and then like applied it. And it took me a minute because I was like trying to be super, super precise because I wanted this to be perfect. And to be honest, it still didn't turn out <laughs> as perfect as I wanted, but definitely much better than before. So just trying to line this up. I started with the corner because I knew you know, this is the, the, the first, the, I don't know, y'all, I don't even know how to explain it, but just keep watching. I knew this was like my starting point. That's what I want to say. My starting point. If y'all been watching my channel, y'all know that I don't, I don't be knowing what to call stuff sometimes. So that's why the videos are just so helpful because it's like, if you don't know terminology when trying to learn how to do something, a, vis a video will give you the visual. You don't even need to really know the terminology. Sometimes I'd be like, I don't even know what the call is, but I'm going to make up a name. So you see how I just fold folded that edge over and it's like a perfect corner. That's what I was talking about. So then I use the once as I slowly um, stick down one part or the first part, my starting point, I use the wooden, sp wooden spoon to like um, smooth it out, pressing it, you know, down, get rid of any air bubbles. And then, um, like so, you see, like so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then I slowly move back the contact paper to kind of like smooth down a section at a time, remove the air bubbles. And I folded it, the excess, um, once I got my starting point down, I folded over the excess contact paper. So it's like, it's, it's not all over the place in my way. And then I just kind of went down from here. You know, smooth down on the edges as I go, get rid of any air bubbles. And you want to like push the spoon for real, for real, like towards the part that you haven't put down yet. So that obviously the air can come out to the part that's not like stuck down yet. 
if that makes sense. If y'all have any questions, definitely like leave me a comment. I I always try to get to um all of the comments. Anything that's not idiotic if if that's politically correct. Um if it's a comment about the content or you know a respectful comment, I would definitely respond to it. So I'm gonna let y'all watch this. And again, y'all, this is it's long. Let me know in the comments below if this video is too long for you, if you feel like you tapped out or skim through too much, or if you feel like it was worth it because it's kind of like resourceful and it kind of taught you something, let me know in the comments below. So I could like gauge, you know what I'm saying? Like what I should do in my next or my future videos. So yeah, it's starting to look good. I'm so proud of myself for this, but this process was much better than before. So this is a up close. Um, you see a little bit of air bubbles. And if you do, then you can still smooth it out. So you take the wooden spoon and kind of like go over with a little bit of pressure and you'll see like right here, that little nick, boom, gone. Just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a close up view of as I'm smoothing it down, how it looks and how um, helpful that, you know, this, the edge that you use, how helpful it's going to be in, in getting rid of any like air bubbles um, or any imperfection out of, out of the paper. So you can see how smooth it's looking. Mm -hmm. So you want to just continue to smooth that down. And then a final look. I think I did a pretty good job. I mean, it's definitely better than before. Like, it's not super, super perfect. I mean, it is a DIY, but I tried to get it as perfect as possible. So I definitely think it's way more presentable than it was before. So this is the tabletop part of this home bar. I even covered the, the extra, it's like a little section over here. I covered that, covered the edges. Um, So it looks really clean, y'all. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below about this part. Um. This is the other side. You see right there, it's not as perfect. Um, but I still think that it, for what it was worth, I think I did a much better job than before. I think some of these techniques, it's like trial and error. You learn the more you do it, the better you'll get. But for the most part, I think I did pretty good. I like to give y'all a super up close and detailed look because so y'all can see the real. I'm not trying to like conceal or hide anything. All right, so this is how it look, it's looking so far. Now that the uh, contact paper is on the tabletop part, um, this wall right here that looks a bit dirty um, from people knees knocking against it, I'm about to cover that in my faux brick wall. So I ordered this, um, got the contact paper and this paper, this peel and stick wallpaper from Amazon. And I love the texture of this. Um, I, I wasn't sure what the texture was gonna be like, but it's a really, really nice texture um for the faux brick wall i got two rolls um i will say that it was kind of hard to line up I've, I've heard this or i've seen this on the amazon reviews too that when you're buying this um contact paper it's not always the way they create the design it's not always easy to line up the bricks and i, I did find that to be true but i didn't honestly find that to be a problem because it doesn't have to be super perfect like i still like the aesthetic of it. i still like how it looks um, so I kind of did a similar method as to the contact paper on the bar top with this, kind of measured it out, um, you know, put it down on the wall and then like flattened it out as I went. Um, it was a little tricky because I had to wrap the corner of the bar too, which you'll see in a second, I believe. Um, but yeah, so, and also another thing about this, um, faux brick peel and stick wallpaper is I got two roll two rolls, which I... I did need both rolls to cover this full wall. I didn't even measure, which was, I didn't measure how much wall space it was against the uh, amount of paper I got, but I'm glad I got two because I needed it. The downside to that, which was also in the Amazon reviews, is that there's, it's not, compl it's not exactly manufactured the same. So the last, the second pack had a, was more of a brighter white than the first. The first, I feel like the background was more of an off or eggshell white. So that was a little different, but overall, I still think that it worked out okay. I don't think that it made such a big of a difference or it was such a um, a drastic change. But um, you can see right here, so I'm almost done, but you can see right here, it's clear where the line is as far as 
one piece of the contact paper versus the other. And you can see that the bricks aren't as lined up. But I feel like because I had what like three or four sheets, um, individual sheets on this side, it ended up coming together okay. And it's unless you're like super picky or like, you know, super pressed about something, then you can, then you can be like, oh yeah, she, you know, it, it wasn't lined up perfectly. But this sheet right here that I'm about to add, this is a piece that was a little, you can kind of tell in the video, but it's a little whiter than the other ones. But I, I still, like I said, I still think it's fine. I think it turned out pretty good. And I'm, I'm so happy with this home bar. But if you remember my video a couple weeks ago, I'll try to add that picture somewhere in the video. The, the uh, inspiration bar had like a, a texture, two textured walls with like brick. And I wanted to incorporate that somehow into my space. I didn't want to put it on the wall. So I was, I mean, on the like sides of the bar, but I, I wanted to add it somewhere. So I thought this was the perfect place. And it'll, the, the barge stools will be right in front of it. So I feel like it'll be a nice contrast. Um, the quilting in the black leather stools or faux leather stools against this white and gray wall. So you'll see the this uh, wallpaper was super duper duper easy to work with. I will say it stretches out easily. So if you're trying to, sh you know, if you happen to stretch it to pull it around a corner or wrap it around something, it might potentially stretch out of place. And I, I think that was probably like the only flaw for me. Um, but you gotta, you just gotta like work with it. It's forgiving. If you need to take it all the way off to adjust it, like I had to do a couple of times, then it's still workable, it's still usable because I felt like some some parts, the brick was not going in a straight line. So I had to make sure that they were, that it was going in a straight line. I think this piece right here, mm, that piece was fine. I think the last piece I had to like put all the way on and take off so that um, the bricks would line up. But y'all, this was such a cheap and easy, this whole bar, I mean, the wood was very inexpensive. They cut it for me to size at Home Depot. Um, it was an easy, cheap DIY project. So this is the final look of it, of up close. It looks so good. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think, if y'all like it. Um, this is like the last part that I want to like redo. It's given, I don't like it. Like I got these wine glasses off of, um, off of Amazon that I want to swap out. I'm about to show y'all my daughter's gonna hold the camera blame her if it's uh, don't give me this i could wait till i'm over there <laughs> blame her if the camera is wobbly okay so can you see this mm -hmm. all right so these i got these layla four wine glasses off of amazon and i just thought like these i got these from the dollar store but i was like i wanted something a little more uh i don't know like elegance or i don't know what the word is all right so these is my first time opening it but you see the shape it's like a real skinny stiletto can, can you see it <laughs> why are you moving so much okay so this is the new one versus these old ones so i'm going to swap these out for display can you see the one thing mm -hmm. okay so look how it's like sleek i'm going to take these out and put these in let me know what y'all think about these wine glasses versus the old ones these will just the old ones they are okay but they just don't fit the look so i'll just have those in case people come over and i need extra wine glasses babe what you think you like that yeah they definitely look different yeah i just want to like switch it up i'm tired of looking at those because those are wider and these are like more skinnier yeah, so I think that looks cute. Not to figure out up there. I'll probably swap out this whole thing in general, but I don't know. Okay, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned, watching this whole video. Definitely let me know what y'all think. Was this video too long? I know it was a little longer than some of my videos. Um, Nyla, quiet. Okay, let me know what y'all think about this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know if it was too long. It was longer than some of my videos. Um, let me know if y'all have any questions about what I did, what I used, where I got anything from. I'm not linking anything. I'm just listing out what I used in the description. But let me know. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you're going to try this or try something creative in your house, a space that's not functional right now that you can tra transform it into something functional like I did. 
let me know in the comments below hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already i will see you guys next week